why it's like sort of thought that there uh, needed to be more skateboarding to go, but she didn't see any girls uh, going skateboarding, so she started something called Skate Face, but she works with the uh, like to get more um, girls to skate. And this is uh, Nikolai. He started. It's called like Return to Nature, the Tour Tour, because he just uh, he's a bi biology student and he thinks that nature is really cool and awesome, so he just wanted to more people to come uh, and go out to see it because. There's so, many, so much nature in our and, and everything is just so close by, so that's so that we yeah. uh, this is uh, Jana, oh, she has like a zero waste shop, where you take your own containers to go shopping, and she has everything like in baskets and jars and stuff, and you can sort of, yeah, there's no waste. Let's take yeah. one more question directly on this, and then we'll have try and have a short yeah. shared discussion, but if you've got questions saved up, you can ask uh, any yeah. of the people. Can I just say something really quickly? Yeah, please. It's uh, since Aarhus and, and the whole region of Mid Middle of the Jungle is part of the, the, the whole uh, capital culture thing, we sort of invite you all to, if you, if you think of, of initiatives that we should know about that are really cool that we haven't mentioned or you might know beforehand, you should really come and tell us. It's a shame that Copenhagen is not a part of the European capital culture, otherwise it would be good. It's a pretty cool initiative also. I'll ask a question here before we go to about um, about southern activism versus northern act northern, southern European activism yeah. versus northern yeah. European activism. So and so this can you just talk a little bit more about this idea that you're without money and so how that kind of differs from how things are done in the past in Denmark. Right? I live near Denmark and I, I try to understand so something like reuse has a lot of money and looks really cool and is very well funded from by the city. Yeah. And maybe where I come from this would have been a little Maybe you would have had to pay money for to get these things. It would have been more like a um, a, a shop that you went to and you paid money for. So can you just talk about mm -hmm. the history of Denmark as it relates to? It is like yes. The, the northern countries in, in Scandinavia is uh, this is a, like a big talk also um, has a tradition for I think for collaboration. Yeah. Uh, I think just if, if you just walk across the border to Germany and Hamburg, you find a, a whole like a different type of activism that is. Maybe more confrontational than the ones in uh, in, in, the, in the northern countries. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, like the, the municipality can be really good to work with, and sometimes we, we sort of. I think I'm just pointing to Christian because I think sometimes we sort of are at the same place. Whereas the, we come and we have this like Institute of X is just one big melting pot of people who have sort of acted to improve or, or, or made some initiatives or whatever. Um, and the municipality is really big. Like really big to to, uh, to work with, and it's becoming bigger and and more specialized, so it, it gets harder for people to sort of walk around in it. Um, but yeah, getting back to your question, um, I don't know. Maybe that, that that's something that you could you know raise the debate. Is that is is this a Scandinavian thing? Could this take part uh, in other parts of the world? We have just uh, participated in a festival called the Unusual Suspects Festival. I don't know if you've heard of it. Something uh, social innovation exchange is doing as a part of a, always being in a in a like a city development uh, forum within the EU. EU. And then when you, when you sort of take the, that context and put it in in Northern Ireland, it's a whole different talk because that's you know the history of Northern Ireland is so very much different from from Aarhus. Um, so maybe think like not everything can be directly transferred, but I think elements. Of uh, of it can, can are universal because the, the sort of the capacity to act is something uh, that is very sort of human. You know, we all have the capacity to to be um, to have awareness and, and to act in our own lives in a way. So yes, humans can do. It. <laughs> but yeah, we can uh, we talk about it later. Yeah, I think we shortly. Yeah. 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 yeah, because it relates to to the question, and I don't think it's. Uh, I think we can see these kind of forms of activism more in Scandinavia, but I've been uh, uh, involved in a project, research project, uh, mapping this kind of informal initiatives in Poland. Mm -hmm. And it shows um, uh, actually what we here in Scandinavia or in the West would have thought would be uh, absent, but it is so much present in Poland mm -hmm. in this kind of forms like informal organizing mm -hmm. without uh, like. Um, uh, without the involvement of money 
and far from uh, established NGOs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are interested in <laughs> right, uh, or reading something on this, I just published in the Journal of Sociology and Social Policy. Uh, it's quite, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's really fresh material from last year, interviews with activists, why, uh, asking them why they actually do it. Like trying to get to the to the root of it and showing uh, that there are uh, plenty of uh, but also um, showing that there is a difference maybe uh, behind what drives this kind of activism in Poland and it has much to do with the past and how politicians and uh, um, party politics are being you know perceived in a way that, yeah you know, like seeing politics formal politics is very corrupted and and uh, doing politics is from below, yeah. grassroots politics yeah. in our own way, like taking taking it in our own yeah, hands. This is both mm -hmm. like very political, but also apolitical. It's, it's, yeah. not, it's, not, exactly. it's not always explicitly yeah. political. Yeah. It's, about, it's, it's a way of doing yeah. politics. It's about democratic but also it's a way of you know reacting to the way politics exactly. are done yeah. in yeah. society. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. to the past, to the post-social yeah. past. And to your question, like it could also be a sign of the times, you know, from the recession in eight and now onwards, you know, and and and. So I think Denmark was not so, sort of hit so hard, but countries like Spain and Italy and yeah. Greece has sort of really suffering. Uh, okay, I've been a terrible <laughs> timekeeper. Um, it's quarter past eleven. Um, I suggest, in order to make sure everyone has their time for their talks afterwards, that instead of having the shared discussion now, we carry on through with that and then use the time at the end of after all six for shared discussion and then the time after lunch as well. Um, because, yeah, it would be a shame if uh, people didn't have time. So what I suggest we do is we have, we get some coffee now. We take 10 minutes to try and get some coffee and things and then sit down again and listen to the next three presentations after that. So I'll shout in about 10 minutes. Thank you. Yeah.